Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, April 22nd. I've had so much caffeine and I'm mostly awake. I was up at 7.30. I, yeah, just house and moving and signing and stuff. So, um, I got a request. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hold on. Let's switch it to webcam. So, hi. Mm, hi. I got a request for someone, uh, by someone, for me to explain how uh, the bounties and the rifts work in Diablo. So we're going to do that really quick. Um, so let's switch back to the small screen. Sorry about that. And let's make sure this is working. Excellent. Okay. I don't like playing this in windowed mode. I just find it doesn't work as well. So um, how this works is uh, you go into adventure mode. So actually, you know what? Let's leave game and I will show you. So I kind of briefly touched on this when we talked about what Diablo 3 uh, expansion Reaper of Souls was going to be about, but you go into game settings and you click on adventure, you can change the difficulty, you can make it a private or public game, etc. And then you just click start game. And while we are waiting for this to load, mm. all itchy and gross. Blech. I had to go to U-Hold to get boxes today, so very dusty. Okay, so what you are going to do is you will open up your map and then you just m go out. Now that the map is all, you can kind of go into the little area. It starts in the basic one with all the waypoints and then you can zoom out to all the different acts. So I usually start from one and I go all the way to five. You'll see some of them say bonus. Um, it gives you double blood shards. Blood shards you use to kind of gamble on gear and you spend so much per item. Um, blood shards are done near the rift person. So here's Aura, can you click on this with the rift and then you talk to Kadala with your blood shards. You can see I have two, so I can't really get anything. Um, the one hand, all the, the two weapons are 15 and then the off hands, the quiver, the orbs, and the mojos are five. Um, the armor is all five, including shield. And the trinkets, the rings are 10 and the amulet is 20. Um, and you could get blues, you can get yellows, I don't think you can get whites or grays, or if you do, it's very, very rare, but you can get legendaries. Those are also ultra, super crazy rare. Um, anyway, so I will just show you. So each time you finish one, you get a couple blood shards. Um, and then once you do all five in each act, you get the Herodric Cache. So we are going to, I'm just actually going to lower the difficulty to hard just so that I can kind of breeze through this a bit. Uh, that's not what I wanted. No, God, duh. That is not what I wanted. M, map, there we go. Okay, so um, what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go to, oh, we'll just stick on three because we get bonus shards. So we're gonna do all five quickly and then we'll uh, open up a rift. So the first one is, you can do them in whatever order you want. You don't have to do an order. I usually just start at the left and work my way around. But if we wanna do the first one, we can go to Stonefort. I'm going to do the keep depths one which is forged in battle so we're going to go there it'll port you there if you're in town directly if you're not it'll take a few seconds just like a town portal i need to defend ironsmith maldondo maldonado so we'll just warp around and sometimes you have to kill so many enemies sometimes uh, we can probably skip a lot of this sometimes you have to kill like x amount of enemies before you kill a big boss other times you just need to kill a whole bunch of guys and do a cursed chest event, etc. So, and let's kill all this stuff because why not? Bleed, you So most of the time you have to do a decent amount of running around. Your fear betrays you. There was a curse. 
first chest over there. So we can do the event. Um, we don't need to for this one. Um, usually I will do them, but just because we're showing you, I will skip it. Oh good, there it is. Okay, so in this case we are just doing the quest. Now, the good news is when you are doing these, there are often achievements to say do all of the events that show up in the various areas. The great news is that they count if you do them in adventure mode. So he's going to start doing that, and we just have to kill stuff. We killed the elite guy. Then we just kill the remaining ones and then we talk to him and we grab all the stuff. Money, yay, money. Money and tea, can't go wrong. And you finish it and then he becomes a merchant and you can sell and buy stuff anyway. So there's that. That's that's the first one. Now, let's just go to the next one. We shall soon defeat Asmodan, and the Lord has given us a new name. Okay, and we just need to clear kill every enemy. Okay, I can do that. So this one, like, sometimes you'll need to do it, um, it'll say go to level 2 and clear all the enemies, but sometimes it's also just, that's money, I like money, money is good. Oh, we're lagging, that's awesome. Oh, my latency is in the toilet, that's great. Come on now, smart up. So if anybody wants to add me to play with, I love talking with people and helping people and running stuff with people. So um, my Battle.net ID is Vegan Trouble, V-E-G-A-N-T-R-E-B-L-E, -E -E, uh, number 1264. So please feel free to uh, add me on here if you like. That's it. So we finished that one. You can see it showed up there, so now let's go to the stone fort. So, so here's an example. So I need to kill a hundred enemies and then find the elite guy. So usually what I'll try and do is get to the elite guy as quickly as possible and then just backtrack and kill stuff. So when you run these, you don't have to do any of the quest stuff, so you can see the bridge is already here, we don't have to go and bring it up and then kill all the guys, but um, some the events, some events that are rare to show up or that have a chance of showing up will still show up, so you can still get credit for them, which is great. You won't survive that! And you can see the guy on my map just up here is right here. Also something to keep in mind now is um, you need reusable parts 
and you well you can salvage whites and grays now and you will need the items um oh good latency's back in green uh you will need those items for forging gear now so at least for a little bit try and remember to keep your grays and whites for salvaging um it'll save you a lot of trouble later they will drop but it's if you can if you get a once you get a few stacks of a thousand you don't need to as much anymore um but for sure if you end up picking them up especially early on before blues and yellows start dropping with any regularity i would definitely recommend getting them oh we have two yellows that's great okay why not I, I would definitely recommend hanging on to your whites and grays just to get the uh items because the salvage items oh no let's not die um just they you'll need them later for crafting especially if you're rolling new characters and you you'd need fewer of them or later on but it's definitely a good idea to hang on to them and to salvage them because especially like i said especially if you're planning on rolling a bunch of new characters it makes it a lot easier okay we are at 83 that's just another example of a quest that can show up. So if you don't have the achievement for it, if you don't have the, the criteria for the meta for it, I would definitely recommend doing it because it's a great way to get some uh, achievement points. Oh, come on. No leg. Leg is not nice. So I know I said to pick them up, but I have I think, four stacks of the reusable parts, so I really don't need to, but definitely something you want to consider if you're planning on again leveling a bunch of new characters and you want to get them here There's a treasure bound in here somewhere. I missed him. Where are you? There you are. There we go. Treasure bandits are good. 
Especially when they drop legendaries, which, you know, anytime you want to, guys want to drop a legendary for me, that'd be great. There is, again, if you see these guys, I've, I've mentioned, I might have mentioned this before, but if you do see purple guys, kill them, take the time to kill them because there is an achievement to kill a bunch of, no, Java, no. There is an achievement to kill a bunch of unique guys, which are the purple guys, and that is one that you're definitely gonna wanna, if you wanna get it, it's really hard to get and it's kind of a nice bragging right to get, but, um, so kill all the purple titled rare guys that you can. There we go, that's done. Okay, and we got one left. This guy. How are we doing on time? Oh, 16 minutes, that's pretty good. Gotta leave in about half an hour, so. All right. Holy moly, does he have the yeah, he does have the horde thing. I was like, that is a lot of work. You won't survive oh, hello, Skype. Okay, I've already killed the 40. Get out of the fire. chest event. Again, you guys can do them. Again, I'm, I'm doing this really slow, or really quickly rather, so that we can get this going. So, all right, and that is it for that. So now, once you do all five, you'll see the quest keep armament, uh, return to Tyrael and Bastion's keep. So you go and talk to him, and a few of the bounties will net you uh, rift fragments, and those are important. So you do the quest, you hand it in, and then you get this, and when you open it, it's a cache, so it will drop these rift keystone fragments, as you can see, and you need five to open the rift, so we've got enough, obviously. Each one should net you anywhere between five and ten, depending on the difficulty and luck, essentially, and depending on how much you get in the cache. Um, so then when you're done, you click on this, and it opens up the obelisk, and you do the rift. So. What you will do is you will run through the whole thing, killing as many minions as you can if you're not doing a speed run. And um, you want to fill up this bar. And you mouse over it and it'll tell you how close you are. So I'm at 1% now. And doing rares or doing rifts um, on as high difficulty as you can is the best way to farm rares unless you are farm legendaries unless you have perfect magic find, in which case it doesn't matter. But to start with, this is probably the best place to try and do it. And you just run around and then eventually you will find a you'll find this the way to get to the next level. <coughs> so we're in Ethereal Descent 1. Um, and eventually you will find a, the way to get to Ethereal Descent 2, and it will just keep going until you get basically to the bottom one, in which case um, you'll have to kind of backtrack to kill as all the minions that, you want, that you'll want that you need. We are already at 7%, so that's pretty good. Some of them are very short, and some of them are a bit longer. So it just depends on what you have luck. And there are, oh, I'm out of room already. That's great. Okay, we're gonna drop some blues. And you can see they have these. So they only last a minute, but they're super powerful. And if you get one of each, there's another achievement. So let's kill these guys and then I will 
quickly town portal back and salvage everything. I need to go back. And I can pick up all that blue, all those blues. This is pretty much it. You'll get random elites. Um, you'll get random enemies that won't necessarily match the zone that you're in, um, which is fine. But it just it also means that the entire zone is are, is going to have enemies of that type. So if it's one that you hate, try and get to the next zone quickly. If you can, and if you can't, you're just kind of so well. Probably you. I don't think I've ever seen um, uh, unique items, unique uh, not unique items, unique champions in the in the rifts. So you're only going to get elites pretty much. But the good news is that those still count. So if you don't have them for a particular achievement, you can still get to them. This is also another thing that's been added, which we kind of touched on, but I'll just cover it again. Oh, I'm very close to leveling. That's exciting. Um, so what happens is you will find them, and it will increase your experience, and they, it's, it stacks, essentially. So, okay. Um, when it does that, um, you can see, so, ah, uh, my experience is increased, and I'm very close to getting more. Um, so experience gains increased by 25% and it lasts for so much longer. It lasts for a certain amount of experience longer, which is really nice. Okay. I think we're going to have to so. There we go. Okay, so here's the next level. So again, sometimes the areas are so big, like if you get Dalgar Oasis, it's, you may not be able to unlock it, depending on how many enemies they've thrown into it, but...
some of the names of this gear is just amazing. Holy rubber banding Batman. Okay. So I should be good. Yeah, so you can see it jumps. So this is where it'll end now. If I get another one, it'll do. So we'll just spend the Paragon point where I've been doing the other one, which is right here. There we go. My husband and almost all of our, I think all of our friends are at over Paragon 100 now. We have a friend that's at 200 and something too. We have a lot of gamer friends. Okay, here's another one. So attacks do 400% more damage, which is great. All right, and here's, we're gonna come up to the next area, I believe. No, 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 no running away. Not allowed, there we go, okay. to level three and we're at 63 percent so again these can take a while but again they're well worth it for the gear the money and uh, the increased chance for a legendary is pretty fantastic And then we're already at level four. So if you find a uh, one of those kind of obelisks that stay, that you can go back, you can leave, that generally means, like when you get to the end of a dungeon in regular Diablo, um, that means that this is the last level, which means if you, if you kill everything in this level and you're still not at 100%, you need to go back to previous ones and try and find the other stuff that you missed, but that's okay. We are getting, ooh, another treasure goblin. I don't mind that. So those big yellow globes work similar to health globes in that you pick them up, but they are Nephilim Glory, because they took Nephilim Valor out of the game. Um, and you move faster, unleash terrible blasts of energy on your enemies. Health and power globes will magnify the intensity of this effect. And extend the duration, which is fun. Oh, did something spawn there? Yes, something did spawn there. Oh, a shield one. My favorite one is called the... It's called the Conduit. Yeah, it's the Conduit Pylon. And it causes you to uh, basically to have lightning constantly move from move around you and it breaks stuff and it kills stuff as you go which is great it's really handy and it kills stuff really really fast so it's really handy if you've got a whole bunch of guys on you or for just killing elites if you're oh rubber banding there we go yeah for killing elites if you're uh, maybe 
kind of in a harder zone, but it, you just roll through the stuff. It's really fast. It's nice. Holy latency button. Alright. Okay, we are at 93%. Shouldn't blow my cooldowns this early, but that's okay. Your fear betrays you. Okay, so there's the Rift Guardian, and you'll see on the map where he shows up. I'm just gonna kill these guys quickly. And then He's dead. What did he drop? Well, he dropped some blood shards. Oh, and I'm out of room already. Okay. Um, well, I can drop a blue because I really don't care. All right, and then we. What just happened? Okay, and then we town portal, and you speak to him, and you get some extra experience and money. And the higher difficulty you go, the better rewards you get and whatnot, so we'll just quickly go quickly over here, and we talk to him, and he blabs on for a bit, so we get experience, we get gold, and then the, uh, you get 30 seconds to go and grab any gear that you want um, before it closes, and then you can't go back. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that, so that's how that works. Um, one game will net you five bounties in each of the five acts, so that's 25 bounties, um, so that's five Herodric caches. And then every time you enter, if you leave and go back into a new game, they've all reset, so you can do that infinitely. Um, and then you only need five, um, you only need five uh, rift keystone fragments to open one rift. So I've got 28, so I could do five technically um, right now if I wanted to. But like I said, I'm leaving in about 15 minutes, so I won't. But anywho, that is pretty much it for this one. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please let me know. I really enjoy helping and figuring stuff out for all of you. Um, I hope you liked the Noble Garden one yesterday. And I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow yet, so please leave suggestions down below because otherwise you're just gonna get the same old crap and then you have nobody to blame but yourself. Anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.